Tonight, a score will be settled inside the confines of the squared circle. After numerous attacks from the Nightmare, Bianca Belair was left wanting revenge at Money in the Bank, but through a costly distraction from Asuka, Rhea Ripley takes no blame for her loss. After succeeding against Mia Yim last week, Rhea Ripley looks to dethrone the champion once again, but this time, there will be no holds barred. No disqualifications, no countouts, no restrictions. Who will leave New York as the WWE Women's Champion of the World? Will Bianca Belair's reign at the top continue, or will it be her worst nightmare? Find out tonight on Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 23. We are live for Monday Night Raw right here in the legendary Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. And what an exciting night here on Raw we have for you. As you just saw in tonight's main event, the grudge continues and no holds barred. Women's Championship on the line. Bianca Belair defends for the second time against the Nightmare. Rhea Ripley, a major score to be settled between these two women. Who is going to leave Uniondale, New York with the WWE Women's Championship of the World? But we kick things off tonight with another champion. The one and only WWE Champion. The phenomenal AJ Styles set to compete for the first time since retaining the championship back at Money in the Bank against Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy at that exciting triple threat affair. What a way to kick off for all. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. The WWE Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles! As we mentioned the last time we saw AJ Styles here in the ring, it was at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view a couple of weeks ago, where he successfully retained the WWE Championship in a triple threat matchup against the Prince Finn Balor and the Charismatic Enigma. Jeff Hardy. A lot of issues between those two men still developing here, most recently last week on Monday Night Raw. But AJ Styles is our center focus. He has been on the roll of a lifetime for the last couple of months. Defeating Edge at WrestleMania, winning the number one contenders tournament, dethroning Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship at Backlash. Several wins in between, and then of course the Money in the Bank victory, as we mentioned. But tonight AJ Styles is set for action one on one against John Morrison, a guy who's been searching for a victory for a while recently here. Let's see if he can get the job done with a huge opportunity against the phenomenal WWE Champion to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. This should be a good one, folks. Strap in. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, John Morrison. John Morrison is a former Intercontinental Champion, former multi-time tag team champion, even a former ECW Champion of the World. But recently here on Universe Mode, he has not been able to get the job done, whether it's been on Monday Night Raw or Thursday's main event. Morrison's got all the tools to be a main event player here in the WWE, but he's got to start raking up some victories if he wants to get back to championship aspirations. It's going to be a huge night here in the legendary Nassau Coliseum, Uniondale, New York. So much history taking place inside this very building. Now we write a new chapter with Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles and John Morrison kicking us off here tonight on a night where we'll see Bianca Belair defend the Women's Championship of the World against the Nightmare Rhea Ripley with absolutely no holds barred in tonight's main event. Can't wait to get there, but here we go. We are underway with the WWE Champion AJ Styles. Versus the Monday Night Delight, John Morrison who's taking it to the air early. Nice springboard moonsault. Morrison's got all the tools, as we mentioned, to get it done inside the squared circle. But he's got to be able to put the final nail in the coffin. And today he's got a huge task with AJ Styles, a man who has only seen one blemish as of late on his record. That was a few weeks before Money in the Bank. 
in that one-on-one -on -one matchup with the Prince Finn Balor on WWE Main Event. Besides that, AJ Styles has been absolutely near perfect for the last couple of months. Is the reason he is at the top of the mountain and the reason he is the WWE Champion right now. As AJ's taking over John Morrison there with some signature phenomenal offense from the WWE Champion. And I'm sure AJ Styles in the back of his mind is wondering who is going to be next in line to challenge him for the WWE Championship. As we mentioned, he was successful at Money in the Bank. And look at John Morrison. Nice maneuver from the top rope by Morrison with the Hurricane Rana. As we mentioned, AJ Styles walked out of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. His most recent time inside the squared circle. He was able to pick up the victory over Jeff Hardy, who he pinned on that night, as well as Finn Balor. And of course, remember back when AJ Styles won the WWE Championship at the Backlash pay-per-view. He was victorious over the almighty Bobby Lashley. AJ Styles is a man who certainly has been proving that he has all the tools to get it done. The only difference between him and John Morrison as of right now is that AJ Styles is getting the victories. And Morrison, nice maneuver there, able to take over the WWE Champion again. And AJ Styles gets the shoulder up. It's going to take a lot to put AJ Styles down. We've mentioned how near perfect he has been. He's a tough SOB inside the squared circle. Sending Morrison to the corner. AJ Styles is going to look to take it high. AJ Styles, a man of so many tools inside the ring. Nice arm drag to John Morrison. He can take it to the air. He can take it to the mat. AJ Styles is certainly a jack of all trades inside of the ring. The reason they call him the phenomenal one and the reason he is the WWE Champion right now, but there's Morrison staying resilient, digging down deep. Nice counter there. Morrison tried to swipe out the lights, but AJ Styles. Oh, now AJ, signature offense, striking fast and striking hard here, and Morrison goes down to the map below. AJ continuing the offense over John Morrison. Morrison's got to battle back. He does not want to suffer another loss. Recently here on Raw and Main Event, we've seen him take losses to Finn Balor, to Seth Rollins. He was in that battle royal, remember, a couple weeks back on Main Event that crowned the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship prior to Money in the Bank. And Morrison was unsuccessful on that night as well. And AJ Styles, after that big-time maneuver to the outside, the phenomenal forearm variation over the top rope, Making John Morrison's hopes of getting a victory looking even slimmer right now. AJ is looking good in this matchup against Morrison. There's Morrison staying resilient. This time he's able to swipe the legs of AJ. And beautiful kick. Morrison so unique inside of the ring. Beautiful leg drop, I should have said. AJ gets the shoulder up. Morrison's got to stay on the offense. That's what's John Morrison's strong suit, man. He's so unique and creative inside of the ring with moves like that. And now he's heading up to the top rope. Could be looking for that elbow drop, but AJ Styles was already at his feet. AJ just as fast as John Morrison. Morrison crashing and burning on the canvas below. And AJ once again sends John Morrison down to the mat. And now AJ's going high risk, high reward. But there's Morrison right there, and AJ hits the crossbody. AJ's feeling it. Now he hits the ropes. Able to deliver to the knee over Morrison. The phenomenal one is looking good. What a great matchup to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. I cannot wait as we continue on with tonight's event. It's going to be a great night here in Uniondale, New York. The legendary Nassau Coliseum. Blair and Ripley, number two tonight. No holds barred. Man, that is going to be an awesome main event. And we're kicking it off hot here so far. AJ Styles and John Morrison giving us a phenomenal showdown at the current moment. And now Morrison, look at this. Grabs AJ Styles, hits the Spanish fly. Beautiful maneuver from Morrison. He's going to look to follow it up. He's heading to the top rope. Could be looking for that elbow drop. And this time he hits it flush. Spanish fly followed by that flipping elbow. And Morrison not able to put AJ away yet. But he's definitely inching closer. Great offense from John Morrison. Goes for the springboard crossbody. AJ able to roll out of the way though. And now AJ. He's looking to lock in that calf crusher. But he's just a bit too close to the ropes to be able to get it done. You still a sense of urgency after Morrison hitting those couple maneuvers there. AJ went for his, his big time blows in that calf crusher, but Morrison is escaped by the ropes. You see AJ starting to pick it up here. Morrison goes for the suplex. AJ Styles gets out of it. Hooks the waist. Big time German from the WWE Champion. AJ's got to keep the momentum going. Morrison was starting to build some there. He does not want to lose a matchup here tonight to John Morrison. Morrison's down. AJ's going to the outside. 
We got a springboard. Hits the phenomenal forearm on John Morrison. AJ, oh, the rope break. AJ's got to pull Morrison away from the ropes there. Oh, but look at this. AJ's not done. AJ hit the phenomenal forearm. The rope saved him. AJ hits the frog splash. Morrison may have gotten a minute to recover there because AJ was headed to the top and Morrison gets the shoulder up. And I got to say, I only really believe that Morrison would be able to get the shoulder up. Wait a minute. Mr. Money in the Bank. The rated R superstar edge. What? Well, his music's hitting. He's not. The ref's distracted. AJ's got his back to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. AJ's in the ring. Edge with the spear. Edge just. What the hell? Edge just hit the spear on AJ. I don't know if the referee's going to let this thing go. Wait, he's ringing the. No, Mor Morrison's into the cover. I, th I think the ref's letting it go. Wait a minute. Morrison into the cover. AJ gets the shoulder up. I don't know what the hell just happened. AJ was closing in. Morrison takes the fight to AJ. Mr. Money in the Bank. Edge coming from behind. Spearing the WWE Champion. Clearly sending a message that now that he's the holder of the briefcase, he's coming for the WWE title. And he, uh, uh, just an attack from Edge, not looking to cash in. Clearly picking his spots, but sending a message to a man he's got history with. And the referee uses discretion here. Normally would have been a disqualification, but he elects to leave this match keep going. But AJ's fired up. AJ's grabbing a hold of Morrison. Styles clash to John Morrison. AJ into the cover. And AJ Styles picks up the win. Wow, what a chaotic few minutes. AJ almost put away John Morrison. It wasn't enough. And then Mr. Money in the Bank, the rated R superstar Edge. Making his presence felt here tonight. A spear from behind on the phenomenal WWE Champion. The ref. Here is your winner, the phenomenal Uses his discretion, lets the match keep going, but AJ Styles, even in victory, has got to have a fire under his ass, and I'm sure he wants a piece of the Rated R Superstar after that spear. Well, the action keeps on rolling here on Monday Night Raw. A chaotic and exciting start to what should be a phenomenal night. But here comes the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, who has been a center, center of controversy in his own right as of late with his issues with the young gun Mustafa Ali. And we're going to touch back on that in just a moment. But Seth Rollins set for one-on-one -on -one action here as we continue this exciting night at Nassau Coliseum. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Well, it was last week right here on Monday Night Raw, Mustafa Ali picked up a big-time victory over Austin Theory, but it was after the match that Seth Rollins returned for the first time in several weeks since losing to Mustafa Ali in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Of course, Mustafa owns three consecutive victories over the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, and clearly Seth Rollins has not forgotten about Mustafa Ali. Rollins has said that Ali has been a thorn in his side, and after last week's attack by Seth Rollins to Mustafa Ali, I think he made it very clear that he is not done with Ali just yet. But whether he is done with Ali or not, I'm sure after last week's attack, Mustafa Ali, even after three consecutive victories over Seth Rollins, is going to want a piece in his own right of Seth Rollins. But here we go. Rollins set for action one-on-one -on -one against one of our young, exciting cruiserweights, the king of Saudi Arabia, Mansoor, set for action here on Raw. And his opponent from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 175 pounds, Mansoor. When Mustafa Ali sent out this tweet to let us know his thoughts on Seth Rollins, he said last week Seth Rollins continued to show his true colors. He clearly isn't over the fact that I've beaten him three consecutive times. If Seth wants to go another round, be my guest. I'm better than I've ever been, and I have no problem proving that once again. So Mustafa Ali acknowledging Seth Rollins' issue, and Mustafa Ali is ready to go another round with Seth Rollins sooner rather than later. 
we can confirm that Mustafa Ali isn't in the building tonight. And after, of course, competing in Money in the Bank and then competing against Austin Theory last week on Raw, followed up by the attack from Seth Rollins, Mustafa Ali staying home and resting this week. But I'm sure he's going to be back sooner rather than later. And he's got unfinished business with that man, Seth Rollins. But Mansoor taking a fight to Seth Rollins here in the early going. I'm sure Seth Rollins is not looking to walk away with another loss here tonight. He's been fed up with Mustafa Ali. We're talking about three consecutive victories. It all started previously to Backlash and that number one contender's tournament for the WWE Championship. And Mustafa Ali picked up the win over Seth Rollins. Rollins semi-costing Mustafa Ali the match against Drew McIntyre in the semifinals of that tournament, eventually leading to a tag team collision at Backlash where Seth Rollins and his disciple Murphy, who for some reason isn't out here with Seth Rollins tonight. I find that interesting. We're going to have to try to get Seth Rollins' word on that eventually, but Seth Rollins and Murphy teaming up against Mustafa Ali and a surprise tag team partner, Dominic Dijakovic. And of course, it was Dijakovic pinning, or excuse me, or Mustafa Ali pinning Buddy Murphy on that night. Hence another victory over Seth Rollins. And then the two met one more time in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup a few weeks ago here on Raw where Mustafa Ali once again picked up the win over Seth Rollins. We hadn't seen Rollins since that victory. And of course he returned last week. And attack Mustafa Ali and a nice maneuver there by Mansoor. Well, let's get to the fight in the ring. Mansoor, he's got something to prove here tonight as well. We haven't seen him in quite a bit. Remember Mansoor was a part of that inaugural six-pack challenge back at Backlash to crown the new Cruiserweight Champion. I'm sure Mansoor is looking to build some momentum for himself and possibly gain another victory, whether that be for the Cruiserweight Championship or just opportunities in general here in the WWE. Seth Rollins bringing that fight to Mansoor, though. Mansoor's been hanging in throughout this contest, but Seth Rollins is fed up. He's angry, and I'm sure, as we mentioned earlier, he is not looking to walk away with yet another loss here tonight. Nice kick by Rollins, and Rollins, look at this, he's locking Mansoor for the pedigree! That's one of Seth Rollins' best maneuvers in his arsenal. Pedigree, but Mansoor gets the shoulder up. Gotta give credit to the young gun, Mansoor, looking good in this contest thus far against the Monday Night Messiah. And now he's trying to keep the fight going, Seth Rollins gets taken over by Mansoor. The cruiserweight's looking good, goes for the left, Seth Rollins counters. Hits another one. Rollins is unloading here, and there's a rolling forearm. Rollins is not looking to be embarrassed by Mansoor, a friend of Mustafa Ali here tonight. As Mansoor, look at this, nice suplex, and looks for the Falcon Arrow instead. A move that Seth Rollins is known for, absolutely one of the moves he has perfected. But Mansoor using it to his ability and his advantage here tonight. Rollins gets up, Rollins goes for the drop kick. Mansoor sidestepping him. And now look at this. Nice spine buster. The cruiserweight is looking good. Now he's tying Seth Rollins up. What is that? Oh, nice. Mansoor, nice maneuver there. Really picking apart Seth Rollins with any move he can these last few minutes. And Rollins is hanging in there. You know, Rollins has been off his rocker and off his game. Not a lot of victories in recent history for the career of Seth Rollins, but nonetheless, he's got Mansoor on the plate right now. And now look at this. Nice super kick by Mansoor. The cruiserweight is looking good. He might pick up the upset over the Monday Night Messiah here, but there's Rollins with the counter, and there's Rollins with the Insiguri. Rollins trying to keep down the cruiserweight here. Nice forearm in the corner. And now Seth's going to the top rope. He's looking to pull out the big time action here. Beautiful frog splash, but Mansoor gets the knees up. You gotta give credit where it's due. Mansoor is hanging in there tonight. Oh, Rollins with the kick. And now Rollins hits the ropes. We know what's coming. Turb stop to Mansoor. And Seth Rollins had enough of the fun in the games. And he puts away Mansoor here tonight on Raw. Credit where it's due. Mansoor putting up a hell of a fight against the Messiah. Seth Rollins absolutely tried to do one good for his friend Mustafa Ali. But in the end, Seth Rollins had enough of the games. Had enough of making Mansoor look good here tonight. And he put the final nail in the coffin earlier with the pedigree and then followed it up with that curb stomp moments ago. Seth Rollins back in the winning column just as I'm sure he where he feels he needs to be. Rollins picks up the victory. But we know his story with Mustafa Ali is far from over. 
when Mustafa Ali returns, what is he going to have to say to the Monday Night Messiah? And where will their next chapter be written in their storied rivalry? We are back inside the National Coliseum here in Uniondale, New York. And Oni Lorcan is set for a one-on-one -on -one action right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Last time we saw Oni Lorcan in action was alongside his tag team partner, Danny Birch. And the two were unfortunately for them unsuccessful against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, in that World Tag Team Championship matchup, Money in the Bank. But Oni Lorcan's got his hands full tonight because Drew McIntyre is in the house. Drew McIntyre coming off a loss of Money in the Bank as well. He went one-on-one -on -one with Sheamus on that night for the Intercontinental Championship. And even though he put up a great fight, a great contest between those two former friends, Drew McIntyre walked away unsuccessful and walked away without the Intercontinental Championship around his waist. McIntyre's looking to build some momentum and get back in the winning ways and possibly get back to a future Intercontinental Championship shot. Drew McIntyre looks focused. We've talked a lot about how Drew McIntyre has let a couple of big opportunities pass him by and wasn't able to get the job done. And unfortunately for him, Money in the Bank was yet another one of those nights. Whether it was qualifying for Money in the Bank and his loss to Edge, whether it was failing to get a shot at the WWE Championship and his loss to AJ Styles, or whether it was failing to become the Intercontinental Champion against Sheamus at Money in the Bank. McIntyre has been on the losing side of some big time moments in big time matches as of recent history. But McIntyre, as we mentioned, looking to get back in the winning ways and looking to get opportunity back on his side. One on one with Oni Lorcan here tonight on Raw, just moments before we kick off our main event. And Oni Lorcan looking to take the fight to Drew McIntyre early, taking him over. McIntyre, obviously the bigger man of the two. Oni Lorcan going to look to take down the tree trunk legs of the big man. And he's got Danny Birch. He's gonna, in his corner tonight, so McIntyre is going to have to keep his eye on Birch as well. Nice kick by Oni Lorcan. These two, very rough and tough in that ring. It's going to be a physical contest, I rest assure you. Oni Lorcan goes for the overhand slap, but there's Drew McIntyre. Just a right hand. And McIntyre with that headbutt. Drew is feeling it here in the early going. It's already a physical contest and heavy hitting between these two competitors. McIntyre sends Oni Lorcan into the corner. He's eyeing up Lorcan. Nice big time maneuver there. Lorcan on spaghetti legs. McIntyre comes with the shoulder block and he takes him out. If you missed money in the bank and you missed a collision between Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, for the Intercontinental Championship. Make sure you do yourself a favor and go back and watch the replay right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It was an extraordinary event, an extraordinary matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. Seven huge matches on that card. What a great show it was. Go check out the replay, as we mentioned. McIntyre continuing the fight of Oni Lorcan. Look at this, picks him up. Scoop slam by the big man. He's gonna follow it up into the pinfall maneuver. But only Lorcan able to get the shoulder up. We know how tough Lorcan and Birch are. Lorcan going to be a hard man to keep down inside the ring. Oh, nice clothesline there. Just explodes up and he hits that Lariat, taking the big man off his feet. Only Lorcan now a takeover. All about keeping Drew McIntyre down here in the early going for Only Lorcan. That is great offense. And now look at this. He's heading to the top rope. McIntyre's just getting to his feet. Lorcan went for the senton maneuver. Also could be looking for the blockbuster. McIntyre sidestepped, but there's Lorcan getting the back, right back to the fight. Now McIntyre, nice kick. Oh, look at this, Drew. Future shock DDT on Oni Lorcan. McIntyre going for the cover. Lorcan may be out, but Lorcan gets the shoulder up. But if McIntyre's best maneuver is there, but Oni Lorcan able to escape it. McIntyre going to look to keep the offense going since Oni Lorcan into the corner. Bring him to the top rope. Oni Lorcan, nice counter there. Oni's hanging in there with Drew McIntyre as we get later into this contest, going for the neck breaker there, and he takes the big man off his feet yet again. Oni Lorcan could be looking for that blockbuster maneuver, but McIntyre's got him scouted. Nice chop 
for the big man and takes one of the back as well. Only trying to build some momentum for himself and Danny Burch here tonight. Get momentum back on their side. At their recent losses, we mentioned to Eric and Ivar, but Drew McIntyre has got only looking scouted here in the corner. Playing more kick. McIntyre with the exclamation point over Oni Lorkin. And McIntyre picks up an impressive victory here tonight on Raw. Short, sweet, and to the point. Drew McIntyre coming out swinging here tonight and getting the victory that he was searching for in this contest with Oni Lorkin. And Oni Lorkin back to his feet. A little sign of respect, man. Yeah, sign of respect out of Oni Lorkin to Drew McIntyre. It was a short contest, but it was physical all the way through. Respect where it's due between the two men. But Drew McIntyre back in the winning ways here tonight. And after that loss to Sheamus at Money in the Bank, I'm sure Drew McIntyre is looking to get himself another opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship sooner rather than later over the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Well, a couple of more contests here tonight on Raw as we have Candice LeRae going one-on-one -on -one with Shotzi in women's division action. And on the other side of things, we got a tag team collision between Dominic and Rey Mysterio taking on Alpha Academy, Chad Gable and Otis, two men that they've had their issues with recently here on Monday Night Raw. Well, let's see who's gonna pick up the victory as we see Shotzi getting the win and building some momentum for herself against Candice LeRae in the women's division. And on the flip side of things, Dominic and Rey Mysterio are successful in tag team action over Alpha Academy, Chad Gable and Otis. Well, coming up on Universe Mode, episode number 24, it's WWE Main Event, and it's going to be the Prince Finn Balor going one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Dijakovic. What a singles match that is going to be. I cannot wait to get to our next episode on Main Event. Well, it is main event time here in Uniondale, New York. Nassau Coliseum, the Money in the Bank rematch for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. First things first, the number one contender, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. It all started a couple of weeks prior to Money in the Bank. And Rhea Ripley jumped to the front of the line in the women's division. She wanted a championship opportunity against Bianca Belair. And she got exactly what she was looking for. An attack on the women's champion after a match with Bayley put Rhea Ripley right in the sights of the women's champion. A following week later, Bianca Belair tried to get the one up on Rhea Ripley. Tried to do the same as she did to her. A post-match attack. But unfortunately for the women's champion, Rhea Ripley was ready. And Rhea Ripley struck at Money in the Bank. Belair and Ripley went one-on-one -on -one for the women's championship. And although there was some distraction from the women's Money in the Bank winner, Asuka in that matchup, Bianca Belair was still able to pick up the victory over Rhea Ripley in an incredible one-on-one -on -one contest. Rhea Ripley, however, blames Asuka for the loss. Does not take accountability for the loss at Money in the Bank. She defeated Mia Yim last week on Monday Night Raw, and she earned herself another opportunity against the Women's Championship of the World. Rhea is set for action, but on the other side is your current reigning and defending WWE Women's Champion. There has been nobody on a hotter streak than Bianca Belair. With victories over Shotzi, and two incredible contests on Raw and Main Event. She defeated Sasha Banks at the Backlash pay-per-view, unintentionally putting Sasha Banks currently on the shelf. She went one-on-one -on -one with Bayley on Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago. She was victorious there as well. And then as we mentioned, she walked out of Money in the Bank, still holding the Women's Championship. Bianca Blair has been near perfect, undefeated in recent history here in the WWE. But now she meets another test. And yet again, her championship is up for grabs. We mentioned it at the top of the show. Is it still the reign of Bianca Belair on top of the women's division? 
is her worst nightmare about to be realized. And will Rhea Ripley leave Nassau Coliseum here tonight? The new WWE Women's Champion of the World. It's no holds barred. Let's send things down to the ring for your official introduction. Introducing the challenger. And introducing the champion from Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair! The stage is set. The time is now. No rules. No countouts. No disqualifications. Absolutely no restrictions in this contest. No holds barred for the prestigious prize in the women's division today. The WWE Women's Championship of the World. Your challenger, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Your champion, Bianca Belair. The bell has sounded and we are underway with the second contest of this rivalry. This time it is no holds barred. Bianca Belair picking up Ripley. Sends her down to the canvas in the early going. It's going to be very interesting to see as this match progresses. Who's going to be the initiator of the violence in this one? As Bianca is taking the fight to Rhea Ripley with those right hands. Looking to beat down the Nightmare in here. And there's Rhea Ripley go for the clothesline. Blair once again sidestepped it. Bianca is unloaded on Ripley in the early going. Sends her to the outside. And a snap. And there goes Rhea Ripley down to the canvas below. Or down to the floor, I should say. And Bianca all over Rhea Ripley since the bell. Rhea's got something in mind here. Blair coming to the outside, but there's Rhea Ripley pulling her down to the floor. Rhea Ripley is known for her brutality inside the square of circle. She's rough and tough and she's strong, but so is Bianca Belair. She has proved resilience and proved just how good she is throughout her championship reign. Both these women are at the absolute top of their game. The only question is, is Bianca Belair have the advantage in this contest? And she was the victor of their last contest. Or is Rhea Ripley going to fare better with the no-holds-barred rules? The brawl is right up here at ringside. Rhea Ripley taking apart our announce table moments ago. She looks like she is going to be the leader of the violence in this one. Ripley's down. Bianca Belair catching her breath. She's preparing for a long, hard-fought match. And she's taking her breath when she can. Ripley is, however, going under the ring and is looking to bring out some carnage here. And she's got a damn hockey stick. We're in New York, and Ripley is playing the role of the Islanders here tonight. But Blair not won an affair with that hockey stick. Taking out Rhea Ripley as she gets into the ring. Ripley threw her best shots at Bianca at their matchup at Money in the Bank. So I'm sure she's going to try to take advantage of more opportunities in this matchup with the weapons involved. That time she gets the knees up on Bianca Belair. But there's Belair fighting back. Belair's been all over Rhea Ripley in this contest. And now Ripley eats the knee of Belair. Taking down Rhea Ripley here. Bianca Belair's going to have to try to wrestle her style match with the rules and restrictions on this contest. And of course, those rules and restrictions are the fact that there are none in this match. Belair is down. Ripley's got a ride on that hockey stick, and Belair eats it to the forehead. But Belair, she is tough. Now she's got Ripley on top of her shoulders. Fireman's carry position and hangs her up in the top rope. Women's championship on the line. You, two, you know these two women are going to throw everything at each other. So they're going back and forth here these last couple of seconds. You got to think if Rhea Ripley comes up short in this contest, that's back-to-back -back losses for the women's championship. She is definitely going to be sent to the back of the line in the division, and Belair's going to be looking for a new challenger. On the other hand, if Ripley picks up the victory here, will there be reason for match number three, a possible grudge match between Belair and Ripley? All will know in due time. Ripley heading to the outside. She could be looking for a little more carnage. On the women's champion, she hits that super kick. Ripley's looking under the ring. Let's see what she's going to pull out, but there's Blair. Blair's honestly stopping some of the weapons and stopping some of the offense of Rhea Ripley in this matchup. She's looking to wrestle her style of match, as we mentioned earlier. She's got Ripley above her head. The only person that's going to be able to do something like that 
but the size and stature of Rhea Ripley is the strength of Bianca Belair. Now sending her into the barricade. And there's Bianca fighting back. Back and forth in this contest. And now look at this. Suplex on the outside. She's holding her up in the air. Belair still on the outside of the ring. Showcasing her assets right here. And it was suplexed out of the floor. Remember, no countouts in this contest. These two women can fight on the outside all they want. And I'll follow it up with a power slam on the outside of the ring. Rhea's gotten in, gotten in offense extremely, but Belair has been definitely in control of this contest so far. Women's champion has been avoiding as much as she can the weapons and the big time strikes of Rhea Ripley. And you can just see she's all over the challenger. Rhea Ripley's got to start mounting some offense there. There's a counter. And there's a kick. Let's see what she's got here. Oh, and she throws Blair head first right into the steel of the ring post. And Blair goes right down immediately. Following it up with that leg drop. Rhea Ripley, and now is her time to try to mount some offense. But she's looking under the ring here. Now let's see what she's going to pull out. She's pulling out the hardware. Rhea Ripley pulling out the table. Remember, no disqualifications, no countouts, absolutely no holds barred here in your Women's Championship Man event. And Rhea Ripley pulling out the hardware here in New York. And she hits Belair with the wood. And Rhea Ripley's got something in mind with that table. She's going to be looking to send the Women's Champion right through the wood here. Bianca's going to be in trouble. She's going to have to try to avoid this at all costs. But there's a nice shot. Ripley's dazed. Belair's got her up. Using the strength again and just turns her inside out. Sending her down to the canvas below. And there's a counter from Ripley. Back and forth we're going here. Sends her to the table. Does not crash through it yet. But there's Ripley spearing her through the table. Bianca Belair spine first into the wood. Off the spear from Rhea Ripley. And Bianca's got to be down here. Rhea Ripley's headed up to the top rope. Could be looking to finish things off. Hits the elbow drop. A maneuver that Belair has gotten the victory with in the past before. We're going to have a new women's champion. But Belair gets the shoulder up. Rhea Ripley almost had her. Put her through the table. Followed it up with that elbow drop. You know it's going to hit harder with somebody with the size and stature of Rhea Ripley. But it's not enough here. Ripley's going for yet another table on the outside of the ring. Ripley is looking to take advantage of the stipulation as much as she can here. She's pulled out the hockey stick. She put Belair through the table right there. And now she's brawling with her on the outside of the ring, sending her into the barricade. Moments away from having a new women's champion. But we know the heart and the resilience of Bianca Belair. There's a reason she has fought through all the challenges thus far. And she is still holding the gold. And that's a nice clothesline. Belair eats the floor yet again. Ripley headed back into the ring where she just sent that table in. Once again, look at her. Start building up the violence in this contest. She's got the table. There's Belair trying to avoid it. Nice shot. Knocking out the table out of the hands of Ripley. Belair cannot afford going. To yet another piece of hardware there. Scoop slam sends her to the ropes. Follows it up into a quick cover. Bianca Belair looking to put this thing away. But Ripley gets the shoulder up. And not watching her back. There's Ripley. There's Belair with the counter. Back and forth with the reversals here. And a big time headbutt from Ripley. He goes for the clothesline. And Belair counters. Sends her down to the mat. Back and forth we go. These two women fighting tooth and nail here for the women's championship. And there's a counter from Ripley with a clothesline. And we got a collar and elbow. Belair with the reversal. Ripley now with the reversal. And yet another clothesline sends Belair down to the canvas. And Belair with the spear on Ripley. Back and forth we're going here. And now Ripley with the reversal. Turning Bianca inside out. Grabbing a hold. Sends her into the corner. And now she hits a spear variation. And now stomp it away on the women's champion of the world. Ripley coming unhinged here in this contest. She knows if she fails to win the women's championship here that the opportunities have rung out. At least momentarily. And she's going to have to start from the back of the line. She's setting up that table inside of the ring. 
Blair in a precarious position. Wait a minute, Rhea Ripley has got a hold here. Sends her out of the canvas. And Ripley gonna be looking to become the new women's champion. Into the cover she goes. Blair gets the shoulder up just in the nick of time. Blair, lucky for her, avoided that table. And I'm sure Rhea Ripley decided to avoid the table herself. And was able to get into the cover position a little faster. But now Blair up against the table. Ripley's got a hold. Suplex position. Send a Blair through yet another table in this contest. The suplex into the table. Blair eats wood twice. But now she's fighting back. Ripley's dazed. Blair's got her up in the KOD position. KOD to Rhea Ripley. The heart. The resilience of the women's champion. Into the cover of Rhea Ripley. And Ripley able to get the shoulder up. At 2.9, Ripley gets the shoulder up and holds on to her chances of becoming the women's champion just a little bit longer. But Belair is now becoming unhinged, beating the hell out of Ripley. Ripley counters and just a tackle to the women's champion. And yeah, we are getting in a championship rounds here in this no holds barred contest. Ripley's going to the outside, looking for more blunder, looking to take advantage of the stipulation just a little bit more. Man, I can't believe Blair went through that table. Able to absorb it the best she could. Pops up with that KOD, but still not enough to put Rhea Ripley away. And I'll just slap it her at ringside. We got a brawl here. And Ripley with a counter. A nice backdrop of Blair. Just a, yet again, a hard fall to the outside of the ring. And now Ripley eyeing up Bianca Blair. Oh, sends her right in our announce table. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Belair on the announce table. Ripley's got a hold. Champion and challenger in a precarious position. And Ripley sending Belair right through the announce table. Bianca Belair. First the spear through the table. Then the suplex through another table. And now Ripley sending Belair once again. Hard through the announce table. Down to the floor of the Nassau Coliseum. Rhea Ripley's got to go for the cover here. Bianca Belair showing her resilience. It's now or never for the champion to fight back and hold on to the women's championship. And quite frankly, I don't know how these two women are still going, but the women's championship of the world is on the line, and that'll motivate anyone to hang in there. Back and forth we go in this contest. Ripley's going under the ring. She's looking for more blunder yet again. And she's pulling out the third table of this contest. Fourth if you count the announcer's table. But there's Belair to cut her off. Using the strength to her advantage. Now Ripley able to counter. Rushing leg sweep sends the champion down to the canvas. And drops the leg on her as well. Belair is in trouble. As the challenger. Her wheels are spinning. And she's setting up the table yet again in this contest. Now look at this bit of a standoff between champion and challenger. Challenger takes advantage and she hits the superplex. It should be the super kick on the women's champion. Blair's dazed on the apron right now. Ripley looking to take a moment. She's scouting the women's champion. She's got something in mind here. Oh, but Blair, nice counter. Grabs a hold. Ripley eats the back of the neck. Or her neck eats the back of the knee of Bianca Belair. It's a hard landing there, but you see how tough she is, able to fight back. And what a women's championship main event we got going on right here. On Monday Night Raw for the New York City, but now Rhea Ripley once again going to look to suplex Bianca Belair through the table, and she does. Belair once again eats the table. Ripley goes right into the cover this time, not wasting any time. How the hell did Belair barely, and you see literally barely, rolling her shoulder up? Ripley sending Bianca through the fourth table of this contest, but Belair somehow, someway, able to get it up. And now she's got Rhea in the air, and Rhea eats the canvas for dinner. Belair to the cover on the challenger. Rhea Ripley gets the shoulder up. My God, what a main event. Rhea's now fighting. She's got Belair in the air. And hits her with that backbreaker. 
The women's champion is in trouble. Tables have been breaking left and right in this contest. Belair off the counter, using her strength. This has got Rhea Ripley fire his carry position. Oh, no way. KOD out of nowhere. Bianca Belair into the cover. And she retains the WWE Women's Championship of the World. You want to talk about heart. You want to talk about soul. You want to talk about resilient in this contest. Bianca Belair proves it yet again. My God, what a fight. What a main event for the Women's Championship of the World in this no-holds-barred collision here tonight on Raw. How did Bianca survive the onslaught of the challenger? I will never understand and I will never know. No matter the obstacle, Bianca Belair seemingly always running them over. And with two victories over Rhea Ripley, leaving her in the past, you gotta wonder what is next for this dominant champion in the WWE. Four tables and the brutality of the nightmare was not enough. The EST is still on top of the WWE, but who is going to be next in line to challenge Bianca Belair for the Women's Championship? Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we'll see you on Universe Mode Episode 24 on WWE Main Event. Good night, everybody.